classically, when we're worried about the patient's hemodynamic capabilities, right? So what their blood pressure is, what their pulse is. These are patients who are in shock states. So very tachycardic, high heart rates, and very low blood pressures. Mean arterial blood pressure is less than 65. Many of these people, it's difficult for us to assess their volume status, also known as preload. Um, we kind of call it the tank, if you will. So assessing what the tank is is very difficult and there's some confounding factors. Sometimes we use CVP, central venous pressure monitoring, and that's faulty because if I have pre-existing heart or lung disease, it can give false elevations in CVP. We also utilize bedside ultrasound um, to look at these measurements as well, focusing on the inferior vena cava and the collapsibility of the vena cava during normal respiratory cycles. So during inspirations, the IVC collapses. So anything coming 20 to 50 percent collapse during normal respirations indicates that the patient would benefit from a fluid bolus. Both CVP and ultrasound can give false elevations, if you will, um, in association with chronic lung disease or heart disease or even acute heart or lung disease. So it, it limits their utility in these settings. Um, we utilize both um, respiratory variations of arterial waveform analysis and the passive leg raise. And what that requires is a simple arterial line placed in either the radial artery or the femoral artery, and then that's transduced. So we're watching it on the monitor with the heart rate. And if you follow normal respiratory variations and the pulse amplitude of the arterial waveform, changes greater than 12 to 15 percent during normal respirations, whether it's mechanically ventilated or not, that's fairly predictive of a benefit from a fluid bolus. This is a new critical care technique and uh, you know, I don't know how, it's not necessarily new, it's newly being taught um, is, is the way I would term that. Um, so the, the literature has been out there late 90s, early 2000s um, about pulse pressure, amplitude, and variation, and passive leg raise. But what we're seeing now is utility at the bedside um, for a, a practice or uh, an exam that actually gives you some sense of where the tank really is. Um, because before we reach for vasopressors, we'd like to know um, that we've given them enough fluid.